Hi, my name is Adriana and I write for kids because I want to face them with issues they might not have seen before, that they might not have heard before. I want to ask them questions. I want them to stop and really think about an issue for a long while. I also like to write about kids who realize they were powerful all along. So that's why I write for kids. The reason why I create, as hard as it is for me to admit, is when I was a little girl, I stopped looking for myself. And I think when we stop looking for ourselves, we stop becoming. So maybe I create now for children because I never want them to stop becoming. Nearly half of Native people identify as multiracial. This means we don't all look like a Hollywood film. We still exist, and so do our stories. Who do I write for? I write for those Native kids who want to see our gods, heroes, relatives, and tricksters still walking among us in all the forms we embody. The young person that I'm creating for is basically a younger version of me, someone who's into fantasy, speculative fiction. I would hope that my reader uh, understands the power of malleability, that they can be easily reshaped, uh, that they are flexible, that they are open to the power of resilience, uh, that they are malleable in the midst of life's most difficult challenges. I think that I try to create stories generally that give a sense of agency and power to different diverse characters. I want there to be, you know, some sort of flaw or imperfection, but still have these characters to be three-dimensional in all of their imperfections. So basically in my mind, I'm thinking of readers who, you know, may feel powerless, and I'm trying to create characters and stories that can still enable them to reclaim that power. And what through my work, what I want young readers to know is that they're loved and valued for being their whole selves and for all of the differences that they bring to our common narrative as human beings. You know, there's no one right way to be who you are except to be true to yourself. As a nonfiction picture book author, I imagine a reader who is fascinated by the world around him, a reader who is curious and always wants to know more about the people she meets and the places she goes, and I imagine a reader whose exposure to nonfiction is primarily through textbooks, so I'm always looking for people and topics and ideas that bring the real world to life uh, for children in ways that are exciting and engaging. Hi, my name is Trisha Tobias. When I'm writing, the young person in my mind's eye is teenage me, uh, one of many young black girls looking for herself in YA fiction, but not only black girls, perfectionist black girls and ambitious black girls and black girls who just haven't realized how magical they are yet. The young version of me could have used more stories featuring girls like her and everyone like her deserves more. So I work hard to give them just that.